Unfortunately, I have to admit that my favourite Beatle was Paul. I now regret that deeply because I think John Lennon was far and away the most interesting of the Beatles. I remember that it was absolutely hysterical. The whole feeling of being in the stadium was like mass hysteria of a sort I'd never experienced before. So it was really an astonishing experience just to be in that kind of crowd of screaming girls because that, that is what happened. The whole uh, concert was simply pandemonium. People screamed the whole way through it. I don't remember hearing a single note. The building itself was, it was probably the first time I'd been to the building, so I had probably no expectations. But it was an old boxing stadium, or perhaps not so old at that point, but very crude, rustic, timber. It wasn't a glamorous venue at all. I was 14 at the time, and I was a huge Beatles fan. Like many of my friends at high school, we had clippings and collections. We had a favourite Beatle. We'd bought their singles. You know, so we were really diehard fans. Um, it didn't occur to me that you could actually buy a ticket to go. It never even crossed my mind. But one of my good friends had the very good luck to win two tickets through a newspaper competition. I think it was just like a ballot. You know, you put your name in and and winners were chosen. And she won two tickets and she invited me to go along, which was a real, it was just unbelievably fantastic good luck. And the seats were in the fifth row. So it was just an amazing event to get to go there in that way. I didn't belong to a fan club, but I certainly did read uh, pop magazines and newspapers and I had scrapbooks and things like that that I made myself. But apart from the records, I didn't buy anything at all in the way of Beatles merchandise. I think it's very interesting to compare the 60s and that phenomenon that was associated with the Beatles and those other bands and the 50s. I have an aunt who's about 11 years older than I am and she was a great Elvis Presley fan. And it's interesting to compare her experience, say 10 years earlier, with Elvis and all of those rock and roll performers. and our experience with the Beatles and the British Invasion bands and the bands that started up in Australia around that time in the middle 60s. And I think they were quite different because I think for my aunt's cohort, they didn't have the financial clout that our cohort had. And I think one of the things that we were able to do with the increasing prosperity, particularly in the 60s, was buy ourselves a lot more freedom and I think that it was an economic kind of freedom that led to that cultural and other social kinds of freedom and liberation that went along as the pill came through and all those other things that happened to my generation that didn't happen to the one that was perhaps just 10 years older than we were. Well, as someone who grew up in the suburbs of Sydney during that time, you know, in the 50s and early 60s is really when I experienced my youth and teenage years, um, the arrival of the Beatles, I didn't think it at the time, but it really was the dawn of a connection that Australia had with the rest of the world that hadn't really existed in that way before. Many other bands came through after that and as the years went by you got a, a much greater connection as a young person with the, what was happening in the rest of the world. But I really do think that the significance of the Beatles, looking back on it now, was that it marked the beginning of that connection of Australia with the rest of the world in a way that it really hadn't been connected with the rest of the world before. I still listen to the Beatles and listening to them really takes me back to those days and the feelings that I had about their music. It's, it's really evocative for me. I loved them so much. Last year was it when uh, Love Love Me Do, which is not one of their great <laughs> singles, um, had its, it must have been its 50th anniversary, would that have been what it was? And that, uh, they played it a lot on the radio, because uh, I listened to the BBC World Service and they played it a lot on BBC World Service. And it just really, it just immediately takes me back to those feelings of being a teenager, exactly what it felt like. It's unbelievable. <laughs>